This is a quick tutorial on how to get into and use Metaverse. Metaverse is for creating augmented reality, and augmented reality is awesome for raising awareness about something, about a problem or an issue, about deepening other people's understanding of a problem or issue, and also inspiring action about a problem or issue. So this is how you'd get started. You would literally click on get started and as you see it's free, 100% free. I'm going to click on that since I already have an email uh, account associated with it. Um, I'm actually going to go down here and click log in. And there we go. And then this is kind of my main dashboard. So there's actually an excellent uh, tutorial video right here just to get you started that you could watch and there are a bunch of other tutorials so if you go up here um, if you want to learn how to do specific things you click on that link and it will take you to the YouTube page for Metaverse and there are a ton of different videos here but back in Metaverse um, I'm going to just do the basics of how to create an experience. So to create my first experience, I would click on create. And this is what the storyboard looks like. It will automatically have a scene and um, then I can add additional scenes or blocks or different pieces to create my experience. So for this first one, I click on that circle. And in here, I can pick from a variety of different pictures, either 2D, 3D, animated 3D, GIFs, and click search up here if I have something specific I wanted to find. So now I have a bunch of different options of food to choose from. If I wanted a dancing taco or an ice cream cone or whatever. Or I also have the option to add a character. For this, I could upload an image that I found and name it. And then um, once I've uploaded that down here, I could save it. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. However, I do, you'll see, have some that were created by me that I have already added in here. Um, oh, I have to take out my search term. So there you'll see, these are ones I've created. I put my Bitmoji in there. I found this duck that I wanted to use for something. I uploaded uh, one of my own photos and um, included that in one of my experiences that I created. So those are just some examples. All right, so back here. So I'm going to add my character. And let's say I'll do the duck just for fun. And I'm going to type some text up here. And I'll say, go on a journey with me. And then down here I can add buttons and maybe I'll give a couple choices. So this button I will say jump in a pond and then I'll add another one. Let's do a different choice. Um, go find other ducks. All right, and hey, I want to add a sound. So here I have a ton of different sounds I can choose from, or I can look at the ones I've already created. I can add a new one. So I'm actually going to go to Created by Me because I already have a Donald Duck quacking sound. So I added that in there. And then I'm going to add a new scene. And for this one, I'm going to see if I can find a pond. So this will be if someone were to choose. Oh, that's been created by me, so I need to go down here. A pond. Okay, let's see. Let's do a 3D model with the tree. And I'll type something up here. Enjoy a splash in the pond. And I need to now connect this scene 
to this scene, but I actually specifically just want to connect this button to this scene. So I'm going to click on this. And then over here, I have the option to transition the scene. So I'm going to click on that. That will just help me with um, my mouse make the connection. So see if someone were to touch this button, they would then go here. Now I am going to um, find in a new scene, and I'm going to stack it down here so my storyboard is kind of consistent. And I'm going to try to find some ducks, hopefully a few ducks. Oh, well, this cute little duck that's walking. I like that one. Let's do that one. Or it's a chick, but close enough. You found another duck. And now again, I need to connect that button to this scene. So you see this blue line shows me I've connected it. Now I need to figure out if I want to continue or if I want to end the experience. And just to keep this short and simple, I'm going to end the experience. So what I'm going to do actually is add a button here that will just have an arrow just for keeping it simple. And then I'm going to connect this scene back to the beginning. So now this goes back to the beginning, and for this, I'm going to type end experience. So, um, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here. And I'm going to connect this back to the beginning, and then someone would have the option to end the experience by clicking that button. And so over here, instead of transition to scene, I'm going to click end experience. So then in this first scene, someone could jump in a pond, go to find other ducks, or if they've done those two things and just want to end the experience, they can end the experience. The final steps are to name this ducks is what I'm going to name it. And then if I wanted to test it, I can scan this QR code with the Metaverse app to test it, and if it looks okay, then I can go ahead and publish it. And once I publish it, I have this QR code to share. I have a share link here, and I also have a studio link so I could share it with other people so that they can clone it. So that is a quick overview of Metaverse.